Hey, what's up? I will be sharing my review of the Tindao G20 Robot Vacuum Cleaner and Mop in this video. I've been wanting one of these little guys for a while, but some of the best ones out there cost more than I pay monthly on rent. So Tindao offered me one of this and it's been with me for a couple of months now. I've been testing it out and I have to say I am impressed with what this little budget boss can do. When I first opened the box, everything was packed neatly and some decent quality. You get the vacuum itself, the charging dock, a power adapter, a remote control, a small cleaner brush, user manuals, some extra filters and two side brushes. This thing looks pretty generic on the outside, just your typical round vacuum design. But at under 3 inches tall, it can sneak under more furnitures than taller vacuums. Pop open the top and the dustbin is easy to remove and empty out. Flipping it over, there are two drop wheels and a front wheel for maneuvering. The bottom has sensors to detect hedges and keep it from tumbling down the stairs. There is also a mop pad that attaches to a mop board. The charging dock has a two-point connection and the remote is compact with all the function buttons. The Tindao G20 has 1400 pascal of suction power to lift dirt, crumbs, dust and debris from your floors. It is equipped with two rotating brushes up front to sweep everything right into the vacuum. Now it has only a 200 milliliter dustbin so you will be emptying it more often compared to larger capacity models. The 230 milliliter water tank lets it mop up messes too. It's got a 2600 milliamp power battery that keeps it clean for around 100 minutes before it automatically returns to the charging dock. So how does it actually perform cleaning my place? For a budget robot vacuum, I'm surprised by its cleaning abilities. My living room and kitchen floors get messy quickly with two kids running around, you know how it is. The G20 tidies up nicely on auto mode, sucking up crumbs, dirt and food particles along the way. Now the 1400 pascal suction power is increasingly powerful. I still bring out the big guns for a deep clean. Trust me, this is not going to replace your Henry Hoover, but for daily maintenance, the G20 gets the job done and saves me time and, well, back pain. The sensors do a great job avoiding walls and preventing tumbles down the stairs, but if you are using it on the first floor, it's best to block up the stairs and it's still gonna bump into furniture legs sometimes. What I try to do is clear any obstacles before running it. The 100 minute run time on full charge easily cleans my whole ground floor before returning to charge. Connecting the app was a breeze, you only need to download the companion app, connect the robot vacuum to your Wi-Fi through the app and that's it. With a mobile application, you can control the vacuum, set cleaning schedules and access all the functions. You can use the remote and the manufacturer says you can use voice controls but the voice control never worked for me. I was not able to make it work with Google Assistant. As for the cleaning modes, you have the auto mode that randomly tries to touch everywhere, spot mode that, you know, tries to clean a specific spot, edge mode and zigzag mode. But personally, I prefer auto mode. It picks up the most dirt in my opinion, well, at least in my use case. You also have the manual mode, but it's a bit of a hassle for me. I don't have the patience to press buttons to maneuver this thing around. Now for the downsides to be aware of, it struggles on dark carpets and I think it's because they confuse the bottom sensors. And the 200 milliliter dustbin needs you to empty it frequently, which can be annoying. Again, the suction power isn't crazy powerful, it's not going to pick up heavy dirt. Obstacle avoidance works great on walls, but it still grazes furniture legs and there is no sophisticated mapping to methodically clean room by room, well, that is reserved for high-end robot vacuums. Also, unless you don't fill the water tank, it's still going to try to mop anyway, but considering the budget price, I can live with the limitations. Overall, I believe the Tindao G20 is an excellent starter robot vacuum in my book. Keep in mind, it's not going to replace your main vacuum cleaner, but it's a nice gadget to have to help you maintain some level of cleanliness. The solid battery life, decent everyday cleaning and easy controls make home maintenance a bit easier. And that's my review of the Tindao G20 Robot Vacuum Cleaner Map. Until the next video, stay nerdy.